The FDNY is commending a hero today after a firefighter rescued a baby in conditions so bad he couldn't even see through the smoke. CBS 2's Diane Macedo has the story. We ran downstairs. I tried to get the hose. I was running upstairs throwing buckets of water on the fire. Theron Presley says everyone in the house immediately sprang into action when they realized their home at 3440 106th Street in Corona, Queens was on fire. It was around 9.30 at night and a three-week-old infant was sleeping in the attic. I was trying to get to that baby and then also too as well. Like I, was, I was running down the stairs. I kept falling down the stairs because the stairs were wet from the water with me running up with the bucket. It was horrible. And then it got worse. I got caught on fire. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, this, wow. in the whole side of my neck, I got caught on fire. Luckily, one of the residents had already called 911. FDNY Lieutenant Adam Villagos was one of the first on the scene. What was their reaction when you arrived on the scene? Did they run up to you? They were, you they were screaming in the street that you know, my baby's in the attic, my baby's in the attic. But Villagos says once he got inside, the smoke was so thick he couldn't see. He opened five doors before finally finding the right one. I happened to pull it and uh, it opened and I found, found the staircase. I wound up um, actually bumping into the crib. And the uh, baby was making very faint, uh, faint noises. And I reached in, I felt the baby, and uh, I just grabbed him and took off. What was your reaction when you saw the firefighter come out with the baby in his arms? I was, I was like, thank you, Jehovah. Like, thank you. Thank you. Because that baby, that baby was born into this world innocent. He deserves a chance. The fire department says the baby boy is expected to be okay and no one else in the house was seriously injured. Investigators are still searching for the cause of the fire but say they've ruled out anything suspicious. In Corona, Queens, Diane Macedo, CBS 2 News.